Hello traders, welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PFX. As usual, we're going to take a look at all the majors including gold and oil to help you out with your trading plans for the upcoming week starting right now. First of all, I want to wish all of you guys a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. This will be the last video for this year. I will take a couple of weeks uh, vacation and relaxation and I will see you back uh, in next year. So at the beginning of uh, 2022, we will see you again. So checking New Year's Day after uh, three weeks slowing down, uh, trying to make a correction last week we end up uh, getting a bearish week as you see um, checking the daily time frame we see we've been uh, for a whole month inside this uh, little range nothing uh, is going on still the same ranting as before uh, we've had this uh, big candle dictating the range and last week we saw on friday that the market did actually break this uh, inner range it is not the not the cleanest range because you still have like this level down here where the market uh, did close and after that the next uh, target gonna be if this area got broken we're gonna see targeting here but um check the weekly here when once again, this is going to be the key level for the uh, upcoming months or the first uh, quarter of next year, in my opinion, because any break below this on a weekly level, I think we might still looking, uh, we might uh, keep looking for continuation to the downside. So as first, I will watch this area as a potential support. This might end up to be a bigger, a little bit of a bigger range now where we're seeing uh, the euro bouncing back up for more upside and to change the direction of this whole trend the euro need to break above uh, this level here outside of this little range and then if they do so there is trouble at once again at around this area where we had the previously broken structure where we were looking to see if the euro gonna give us a correction back toward uh, this area we never got that so those are the levels to watch we have this level up here we have this level down here that is the bigger range and uh, the smaller range we already talked about that this is um, yeah, almost got broken already here so um, the next target for me is down here in this uh, situation sterling also same scenario there was an attempt to push higher it end up to be just a break retest and then on friday we've got a, a big bearish candle if we check the weekly time frame here we see that the market is still trading above the 200 moving average on the weekly holding this level here as support uh, <clears throat> there was this attempt that, that failed totally here and if we go down to the four hour we see it clearly this level was marked on the chart as a potential area of interest and i said if they break above the trend line next target gonna be this area to then watch to see if it's gonna be a retest and uh, continuation to the downside so after uh, a big move here thursday friday we end up going down once again and um, yeah it is clear what uh, range we have on uh, sterling usd for now this is the range and uh, nothing else to do here until we have some kind of a breakout either to the downside or to the upside so as for now I would keep playing these two levels buying the low selling the high waiting for a break out of here USD JAPI also um, a little bit of a consolidation, um, not really giving us a direction here. If we go to the weekly time frame, we see that <coughs> the weekly is still a nicely bullish market. It might still continue higher after this flag and continuation. But if we go down to lower time frame, we see it is uh, pretty choppy. Um, this uh, level here the 114.50 gonna be a key area once again i will keep an eye on that level uh, if it got tested again to be a potential sell but also on the lower time frame we had a failure to hold above the uh, the range here that got broken lately we've had uh, this smaller range that the market broke out and it br did break out uh, outside of the bigger range as well to then uh, collapse back down and uh, go back uh, inside uh, these ranges so it is once again inside here so uh, next week any failure to break higher than this area 
that for me is a sign that the market might return back down so uh, that is um, what's going on here a pretty choppy scenario at the moment and we need to keep in mind that after this impulse this whole thing could still be a correction for one more leg to the downside as well now as i said if they break out of here i'm not interested because next target gonna be pretty close so uh, um, not sure if it is worth uh, trading but maybe on lower time frame like the 15 minute one hour you may get some uh, some trades there Aussie also um, uh, bearish on Friday so I was expecting Aussie to reach the 50% before the re reversal to the downside but seems like 38.2 uh, uh, was the level um, and things start uh, to move down now it is still we uh, could go higher if they do not break below this low here so for next week this here gonna be key because if they hold this level we might see one more bounce to the upside if this fail and they break below it then in my opinion a continuation to the downside is to come going down to the four hour we see it more clearly here you need to keep an eye on this level as far as this is holding you might still see bounces to the upside but if you see this broken to the downside look for a correction and then continuation to the bottom here to uh, toward uh, the point seven uh, oh, oh, oh. USD CAD, <coughs> this one uh, is uh, still bullish after a nice retest and continuation or a, a little bit of a correction. Uh, we are looking on the weekly time frame, still no break above these highs. The market did close at the level here without breaking above the last line of defense here. That's the weekly time frame. Checking the daily. Uh, still a bullish structure you see how this level that I marked on my chart did hold nicely after an attempt to break below it did end up going inside once again and we still have higher highs and higher lows but now the real fight gonna be at this area here where the market did uh, close last, uh, last Friday they still need to break above this uh, couple of highs here for that bigger continuation to happen as far as that is not the case and as far as there is no break above this previous high a rotation back down is still possible so if you are bullish on this market in my opinion it is better to wait for a break than look for a retest than continuation otherwise a failure here could mean at least a return back down to here or a return back down to this area down here and toward the uh, outer trend line on usd cat usd chief nothing new still an ugly chart um, what we know for now is the 200 moving average on the daily is holding nicely as a uh, good uh, dynamic support. Uh, the weekly time frame, as you see, we are inside a squeeze and uh, those are not easy to trade. So I want you to be a little bit careful. Uh, checking the four hour time frame, what we have for now is this little range inside the bigger range that is tradable if you want to. Uh, you could sell here, buy here, wait for a breakout, uh, or you wait for the breakout, look for retest, and then continuation to the top. Because if this breakout happened, I think things are gonna move pretty quick to the upside from here. Gold, so usually we uh, gold used to be uh, seasonally, you you get uh, a strong gold during uh, December, but as for now, the December is not so bullish. Well, it is a green candle, but it is not the strongest candle uh, at all. Uh, checking the weekly time frame, as you see here, we've got this strong move to the downside to then see things start to slow down, and then last week, a nice bullish engulfing. Um, daily time frame uh, what's good here they got a break above the neckline and above the 200 moving average they failed to do so lately uh, but on Friday we've got um, yet another uh, shooting star here um, uh, inverted hammer to the downside and uh, as you see on the four hour time frame the level was this uh, previous area and the 200 moving average on the four hour that did act as dynamic uh, resistance so for next week if this will continue to the upside i'm thinking that we might look for a potential retest toward this area uh, like this correction back down to this broken structure at that time maybe the 200 moving average on the one hour gonna be somewhere here to then look to see if we're gonna get bullish evidence in this level to look for further upside that is a potential scenario we could add a fib retracement to see if we got some um, 
uh, correlation and that we have the 38.2 at this level that could be th something to add this to this uh, trade idea so keep an eye on this level as a potential bullish area oil uh, checking the daily as you see here we stuck around the 200 moving average hugging that 200 moving average but each time they try to break above pre uh, previous highs they are failing so as for now it is making some kind of a bullish flag could continue higher but for that to happen it need really to break above this uh, 70 uh, 73 area this need to be broken to then give you a continuation so it need to have to do something like this to then look for retest continuation otherwise each time they fail the, there is higher risk that we move back down toward this area and if they break below these levels down here like um, if we mark this little range oops let me do that once again this little range um, if they break below this we're looking for retest and then continuation to the downside on oil as well and uh, yeah that was it for this week this as again as i said again the last one for this year see you next year guys thanks a lot bye bye